balls. Or the one we just saw is the first pass. And the first skill that was named after her, we'll see it in the second pass. Come out, you get one turn to take to warm up your vault to perfection, and then you sit there and wait till it's your turn to salute and, hey, I'm at the Olympic. Simone Biles is the GOAT. No one can deny that fact. In the very beginning, I didn't even know what GOAT meant. I remember being at a shoot and people kept saying, oh, the GOAT is here, the GOAT is here. And I was like, guys, where's this GOAT at? And they were like, oh, it's you. And I was like, and now, you know, you have medals and stats to back it up. And I still think it's so weird. But even the best of the best has kryptonite, so to speak. There was a time when... However, as they say, there are some battles that we just can't fight no matter how hard we try. Nevertheless, Simone Biles remains to be considered one of the greatest gymnasts of all time and the most decorated gymnast in history. After all, she has carved her path with unparalleled brilliance and individuality. Her journey to greatness started at a young age. To be precise, Simone started her gymnastics odyssey at only six years old, and her journey was destined for greatness right from the beginning. As she was too young to qualify for the 2012 London Olympics, she had to wait one year before she skyrocketed to fame in 2013. At just 16 years old, she clinched two gold medals at the Antwerp Championship, including the coveted all-around title. Here, she introduced the world to a groundbreaking move on the floor exercise, the Biles. A double layout with a half twist now cemented into gymnastics history. With four World Championship golds in 2014 and another four in 2015, the young phenom was already a formidable force heading into her first Olympics at Rio 2016. Biles left no room for doubt, securing gold in the all-around, team, vault, and floor exercises while claiming bronze on the balance beam. From there, she continued to dominate gymnastics. She exhibited the same brilliance as ever at the 2019 World Championships in Stuttgart, where she triumphed with five golds including the all-around title. There, she astounded judges by attempting a new move, the Biles 2, a double-tucked backflip with a triple twist. So far, her name adorns five distinct gymnastics moves across floor, balance beam, and vault. However, as earlier mentioned, even the greatest gymnast of all time, like Biles herself, is prone to weakness, may it be physical or mental. And that is in no way her fault. Contrary to how easy it may look, it is not. When she entered the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, expectations were high, very high. She was able to live up to it, although it was a bit short-lived when she added two more medals to her Olympic tally, making it a remarkable seven. However, she made headlines by withdrawing from most events, citing mental health concerns. For context, she stepped down from the vaulting podium after getting lost while attempting a two-and-a-half twisting vault in the women's team final. It was then that she knew she couldn't keep competing. She had a case of the twisties, where a gymnast mind and body fall out of sync. She didn't know what she might do in the other events if more errors would cost Team USA a chance at any medal or worse, endanger herself physically. Just so it's clear what kind of pressure she was under, Biles had been expected to win five golds. Even the ads for the Tokyo Olympics implied she would sweep the podium. It was supposed to be her purpose, and just like that, it wasn't anymore. If you look at everything I've gone through for the past seven years, I should have never made another Olympic team. Biles admitted her eyes filling with tears. I should have quit way before Tokyo when Larry Nassar was in the media for two years. It was too much, but I was not going to let him take something I've worked for since I was six years old. I wasn't going to let him take that joy away from me. So I pushed past that for as long as my mind and my body would let me. She pushed her body until eventually it called for it to quit. I just felt like it would be a little bit better to take a back seat to work on my mindfulness, and I knew that the girls would do an absolutely great job," Biles explained in the post-event press conference. I didn't want to risk the team a medal for kind of my screw-ups because they've worked way too hard for that. So I just decided that those girls need to go in and do the rest of the competition. This inspired her teammates. This medal is definitely for her, because if it wasn't, if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't be here where we are right now," said Jordan Childs, who trained alongside Biles in Houston for two years leading to the Tokyo Olympics. 
we wouldn't be a silver Olympic medalist because of who she is as a person. Simone, on the other hand, didn't see things that way. She later revealed that she thought the world was going to hate her after withdrawing from the gymnastics team event at the Tokyo Olympics. Notably, the four-time Olympic gold medalist was replaced by Jordan Childs in the team event and later explained that she needed to prioritize her mental health. If I could have got on a plane and flown home, I would have done it. Biles shared. Weighed down by the immense pressure she carried on her shoulders, Simone was afraid of how people would react. Needless to say, her decision to prioritize her mental well-being sparked vital conversations about the immense pressure athletes face and their mental health challenges. Since then, she has become an advocate for mental health. I'm making a bigger effort to take care of my mind and my body, which includes therapy once a week, Thursdays are my therapeutic days, a moment for myself. Biles explained in a 2023 interview with Olympics.com before making her return to the World Championships. Yes, she eventually bounced back from that, although it hadn't been easy. After withdrawing from most of her events at the Tokyo Olympics, Simone Biles is back like she never left. She did take a break from competition for two years, during which she became the youngest person ever at age 25 to receive the Presidential Medal of Freedom and got married to NFL player Jonathan Owens before her big comeback last season. And then, here it goes, Biles made her competitive return in the summer of 2023 where she showed almost no signs of slowing down. At the 2023 World Championships in Antwerp, Belgium, coincidentally the very same place she won her first set of world medals, Biles became the most decorated gymnast in world and Olympic history and even got a new skill named after her in the code of points. The Yurichenko double pike, named the Biles II, is currently the hardest vault being done by female gymnasts. That's not all. After a return to gymnastics competition that included winning historic U.S. and world all-around titles in 2023, the gymnastics superstar has won the Laurelis World Comeback of the Year, the organization announced recently at a ceremony in Madrid. It is worth noting that the award is Biles' fourth Laurelis World Sports Award after previously winning Sports Woman of the Year three times, 2017, 2019, and 2020. I am so honored, it is unbelievable every time I'm nominated for an award. So I can't thank you guys enough for recognizing the work that I do," Bile said in a pre-recorded acceptance video. It's been a dream come true since I was a little girl to be receiving awards like this one day. So thank you for making my dreams come true. I also want to say congratulations to all the other nominees. Fans are now awaiting to see Biles compete months before the Olympics. Although Biles was initially reluctant to confirm Paris was the goal, as she wanted to take the journey one step at a time, she revealed in March that Paris is the plan as long as all goes well in training. That we have to see. And speaking of what or who we will probably be seeing in Paris, watch this.